Marketing Director at Comparex USA. Um, so one year ago, we were just five people working out of a temporary office in New Jersey. And now we are well over 100 employees with plans to staff several hundred more jobs out of this uh, Dallas headquarters location. Um, this office will serve as our home base and our hub for our entry in the U.S. market and also for North and South America. Uh, I want to recognize our special guests tonight. Our international guest of honor, our international guests rather, are Mr. hans Jörg Egger and his wife Suzanne Egger. They traveled all the way from Vienna, Austria to celebrate the grand opening with us. Uh, Hans Jörg is our Chief Operating Officer of Comparex uh, <clears throat> Group Worldwide, uh, which is our $2 billion parent company uh, operating in over 30 countries globally. And with us we also have Dallas esteemed Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings. In a few moments we'll cut the uh, ribbon to celebrate our grand opening. So, um, I'd like to also now uh, hear a few words from our Executive Vice President, John Havlick, who I'll hand the mic over to right now. So I'm really excited. Um, I have somehow managed to get my boss, an Austrian, standing next to the mayor of Dallas. <laughs> this is my uh, uh, Hans first visit to Dallas. And so on his first visit, he meets the mayor. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on his second visit. I'm going to have to think of something. Um, we did an extensive search about where we should place our business in the United States. Originally, we incorporated in New Jersey. Uh, we reached out to New Jersey about what sort of economic incentives they could offer to a firm like ours. Planning to hire, we're very Microsoft focused. New Jersey was not overly receptive. Uh, we went to Raleigh, we went to Seattle, we looked in Northern California. We made, I think, a single telephone call to, uh, or, or to uh, Carl here, who runs the Economic Business Development Council for the mayor. His team met with us. They said, we want these sorts of jobs in Dallas. We're willing to help you guys make a decision to make Dallas your home. Uh, I'm really proud of my city. I've been a resident of the city for some time, but really stepped up and made this decision very easy for Comparex. So uh, I want to thank uh, the mayor, and I want to thank Carl and Hammond Perot at the Economic Business Development Council for making this a great, solid decision for Comparex. So thank you very much for your support. <laughs> um, I also just want to quickly thank uh, a few people that made this evening happen, uh, and, and this, uh, this whole project was quite a large construction effort for the company. Uh, George Barrett is our Director of Operations. <laughs> We've been growing at a torrid pace. I met George after hiring him, and I think he was on his third day, and I dumped this entire project in his lap and said, we, you know, go deal with this, I'm going to go hire more people. Uh, George has done a phenomenal job, so thank you so much for your support, George. Uh, I also want to thank Elliot Barrett, who runs our marketing department, his team, which is Emily Smith and Jean Duty, for putting on tonight's uh, event. Uh, I'm now going to turn it back over to, where's Emily? Uh, we're going to now turn it back over to Emily. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you feel the excitement about the future of what we have here in Dallas. So this is the hub of going to be the start of great things to come from us in the United States, okay? So thanks. Woo! Uh, lastly, we just wanted to thank uh, our representative from the Genesis Women's Shelter and support for attending as part of making a small donation to the cause um, for imperiled women. Thank you for, I'm sorry, I don't, uh, thank you guys for what you do for Genesis. Um, so giving back to the community is an important part of our culture, and um, our company actually gives us time off each year, each employee, to work toward the betterment of the community, which is really important, um, and we appreciate that. So with that, I will uh, turn the mic over to Mayor Rawlings to say a few words, and then to cut the ribbon, and thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. John, thank you, uh, all of you, for being here. Tonight is... Uh, very important to me, okay? All right, so here's a list. It's like Dave Letterman's top ten. Sort of thing. But first of all, I spent ten years of my life in this building about ten stories down, okay? 
met my wife uh, uh, there and uh, had a great career. I, I was part of an advertising agency, and it was when we had an ice skating rink out there, and it was fabulous. You have chosen a fabulous location, <laughs> a fabulous building, uh, and uh, right on the dark line, and it's, uh, it's great. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is Carl was right. We do want businesses like yours uh, in Dallas. Uh, people, uh, we've got to kind of tell the story. People do not realize how many tech employees and the industry is happening in the Dallas area. We are the number one employer of tech jobs in the state of Texas, okay? The number one. Not Austin, let me say that again, not Austin. <laughs> let me say that a third time, not Austin. <laughs> in fact, someone told me that in Dallas Fort Worth, we've got more tech employees than Austin and Houston put together, okay? So we are where it's thriving and where people are coming because of the, the productivity, because of the cost, because of the quality of life. You can make money and not, it doesn't have to be painful on you, okay, at the same time. That's the whole purpose. So it, it's fabulous about that. Third, it's downtown, all right? And each of you are important because you're either going to be ambassadors for us downtown, and where downtown's going, or you're going to say to your friends, oh, I hate it. Okay? <laughs> you're not going to say, I hate it. You're going to say, I love it. Okay? Because things are happening downtown, and so much uh, uh, from an entertainment standpoint and a culture standpoint is making it exciting to be here. When I was here, I mean, it was uh, happening, um, and uh, I was, uh, uh, I shouldn't even go there what I did when I was younger. Right? <laughs> In fact, I'll just kind of put that off the side. It was great, and I want to bring that back uh, to downtown. Um, and, and, and lastly, because this is an important business that uh, is a global business, it is something that uh, has got uh, a, a chairman that is, lives in Vienna. If that isn't cool, I mean, I don't know what is. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Hans. And uh, it, it's one of where Dallas is going because DFW, a lot of people don't know this, my Chamber of Commerce speech. DFW is the fourth largest market, SMSA, in the United States. You have New York area, Los Angeles area, Chicago, and, and DFW. And so, so many international, global companies are coming here to run their, their headquarters here. Just sort of have another business that is high tech, that is uh, downtown, that you're hiring people with the faces that, uh, good looking faces that I'm looking around the room is very, very exciting. And then the cherry on top of it is that they give money to the women, uh, the Genesis Women's Shelter, okay? I don't know, some of you may know it, but I've got to burn my saddle, and that is domestic violence, okay? There's no excuse for domestic violence. You men, it's your job to tell every other man you know that you can call a guy a lot of things that it's a woman, but you can't call him a man, okay? You just cannot call him a mm -hmm. man. Yes. And so, thank you for that, for that decision, and uh, it's part of it, because we do believe um, that you need to kind of give back. That's, it's much more fun. Team sports is a much more fun thing. So come on downtown and uh, participate and then learn how to give back. And uh, last but not least, it's, it's celebration time. It's birthday time. It's, this is the time that we're, you're going to remember for the rest of your lives, uh, hopefully in a good way, that this is the start of something fabulous. So congratulations, John. Thank you. Congratulations, Hans. Okay, why don't we put the, the ribbon out in front of us. Oh, big scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There we go. Are we gonna hand it to you? No, no, there we go. You hold that. Ready? One, two, three.
Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the drinks and uh, fortune telling, and uh, yeah. clients are on back in a uh, uh, photo booth, and we have a scrolling magician, so I hope you'll stay around and drink. <laughs>